Hi, I'm here at IDEX 2019 with Giovanni Violante, who's head of uh, counter drone technology at Leonardo. Could uh, you describe your company's approach to uh, counter drone technology, please? Yes, of course. Uh, normally we have uh, um, a system that is uh, not an, a single system, but we have a family of systems because our approach is to build all the system around a command and control that we use in order to collect information coming from different and heterogeneous uh, sensors and uh, we have uh, based on the same command and control in an open architecture also um, effectors that are different kind of effectors we have kinetic effectors and not kinetic effectors. In this way we have the possibility to collect information coming from radars, coming from uh, electro-optic systems in uh, day and night uh, domain. We have information coming from acoustic sensors and all this information are collected inside the command and control where we have the fusion, the correlation of the information and the presentation in order to give and help to the decision maker to uh, engage the right uh, effector to destroy or to take the control of the drones just in case it is recognized as a threat. So in this system we collect information, we elaborate those information inside the command and control. We have inside the command and control also a database where we can compare information coming from the sensors and we have the possibility to evaluate that uh, these drones is a threat. In this situation we can give the possibility to the operators to engage the effectors or we can give him also the possibility to automat automatize the activities by the means of uh, target evaluation and web on assignment algorithms that are inside the command and control. On the uh, side of the effectors, as I said before, we have kinetic effectors like guns, for example, uh, um, remotized turrets, but we have also not kinetic uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, effectors uh, like the jammer that we can use in order to jam all the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, to defeat the, the, the system. Uh, but we have also other kind of a solution in order to identify where is the pilot. In this case we have the direction finder system, we have the possibility to identify the source of the pilot, the source of the electromagnetic signal of the radio link that is uh, established between the pilot and the drones and in this case we can noise this radio link or we can take the control of the drones. Uh, it, we have other situation where the drones um, fly using uh, the waypoints. In this case uh, we have to work with the uh, GPS signal and we have the possibility to spoof this signal in order to uh, give to the drones a different uh, um, information about the position in order to land the drones in a, a safety way. So uh, this is the, the, the reason that uh, we have uh, um, built the system all around the command and control because uh, in our knowledge uh, there, is a, there isn't a, a golden bullet to destroy a threat like the, uh, the drones, the, the, the system because uh, we have the possibility to integrate different kind of sensors and effectors. Can you uh, tell me where your company's counter drone technology has been deployed and used? Yes, so of course we have um, several systems uh, in Italy for the Italian Army and the Italian Air Force and uh, they are using uh, these systems in the military airports uh, in Italy and uh, in uh, military bases uh, not only in Italy but also abroad in uh, operational theatre. Uh, speaking about uh, uh, another uh, uh, kind of uh, the, the same system of the family that is the Falcon Shield in UK, uh, it was um, used after the uh, alarms that we had in Gatwick and in Heathrow, used by the Royal Air Force directly in those airports, for example.